today, you know, we pretty much have settled on everything. We had a couple minor details that we were tweaking. We tried out, you know, some different gauge of wires in the bridge pickup. But that's the great thing about uh, having this amazing design team at our disposal. We can make those tiny sort of tweaks, really make sure that it's absolutely perfect so that when I'm on stage, I only have to think about the music. <laughs> If you would have just sat me in a room and be like, okay, so like, what do you want from a guitar? I'd be like, uh, okay, I don't even know where to start. You know, Sterling has been through this many different times. He was really great to be there in that process because he was almost reading my mind. He knew what to tell me to ask next because going into a process like this, you don't know. And so he was a great shepherd through this whole process. It's an amazing experience to walk around the factory here in San Luis Obispo and to see the dedication to craftsmanship. You get a sense of that when you pick up one of these guitars, but to come see it happen in person um, is pretty amazing. The mix of high tech and just basic hand craftsmanship. You see the robots doing these, this incredible work and then see the amazing artisans finishing it up and, and adding that human touch. It's one of my favorite things now is just to hop on the 101 and cruise up here to San Luis Obispo and see what's going on and check in. <laughs> month since we've designed the guitar, I went out on tour for the first time just with the Valentine, and it was the only guitar that I needed, and it, it went great. So I've got one for standard tuning, and one that we drop down a half step because we do songs in different keys sometimes. But like, I never actually even used the backup guitars, so I really only played two guitars on the entire tour. I didn't expect all the great feedback uh, and interest in the guitar. People are really responding to sort of the timelessness of the design and how classic it feels while still being completely new. And that's exactly what we set out to do. Between the coil tap, the overdrive, the humbucker, and the single coil, there's a lot of different flavors you can get out of it. We were gonna have to do something that was to a certain level of excellence for me to even want to be involved. And I feel like we met that bar and even surpassed it. Really finally have a very personalized tool that does everything exactly the way I need it to. to make a guitar that I could play throughout our entire set. We kind of took the best of both worlds from a Tele and kind of a, a Gibson 335 type of guitar. Mm -hmm. 